Well, howdy do and good afternoon, you group of miscreants and lowlifes and generally probably not socially acceptable people. I haven't done motorcycle club stuff in a very long time for a very good reason, but I got a great topic today that we're going to talk about that is rather important and we witnessed a guy last weekend almost have a real bad night because of what he did. <laughs> So this is a many faceted, why is the camera doing strange things? Anyway, so this is a many faceted sort of topic. It comes from a couple of places. So first off, I started thinking about doing this video a couple weeks ago when I got an email from a guy who was commenting on a video that I had done at Smokeout. And in that video at Smokeout, while we were walking up a hill, uh, one of my buddies like cart that we had been dragging chairs and booze around all day had just collapsed. And it was just dragging it, and we were jokingly calling it the sled, and we we're having a good old time. And in in like out in public on this road going up the hill was a couple one percenters wearing their cuts. They were in no way the focal point of the shop shot. They were just off here and doing their thing and not the topic at all. And therein lies the thing, and then we'll get into why this guy didn't know what he was talking about and made a huge mistake, but they were not being videoed. Thumper was being video, and those guys were off doing their thing. Now, could they get bent out of shape about me videoing them? Sure, but here's the thing. The email I got from this dude says, I support that organization. Support is a key, key word here. I support that organization, and if you didn't have permission to video them, I'm going to have to ask some people if that was okay. Like, this is kind of how the email went. Now, the guy might not have been trying to cause problem. He might have thought he's being supportive of me and saying, like, maybe you shouldn't do the thing and, and I'm going to ask people and stuff. But here's the thing, and this is the response I sent him. Note this. If you are not part of said club, organization, whatever, then you cannot speak on their behalf. You dare not speak on their behalf. Because I would imagine a lot of the boys that I know, this is how that would go. Let's say some of the clubs I know here real well. I call them and go, hey, I saw a guy accidentally had you guys off to the side in a video, not doing anything wrong, not, no illegal activity, just literally like existing. And I told him, hey, I support you guys and that I was gonna ask if that's okay. Now, these being my close friends, first off, I would never do this. This conversation would never happen. But these close friends of mine, their response would be, who the fuck are you to tell anybody anything about us and how, we, how they should or should not be doing things? You do not speak on our behalf. There's the thing. You do not speak on the behalf of an organization that you are not affiliated with because you own a t-shirt, because you know somebody, because your friend is a, could be the P, you are not. So you should not be speaking ever on their behalf. Now, if you want to be a snitch and you want to go say, hey, I saw this thing. I don't know if it's, you know, if it's a thing. If it's a thing, it's not a thing, whatever. Here's a link to the thing. You tell me. What, or no, don't tell me. You deal with it, whatever. If you want to do that, if you want to be a snitch, that's fine and dandy. But don't you ever speak on their behalf. And that's what this guy did. So my response to him was only a member of an organization can speak on the behalf of that member of that <laughs> Don't speak on the behalf of your member. It'll be weird. It's a strange weekend thing. No, only a member of a club or organization can speak on the behalf of that organization. So you should not have sent me this message. I would expect to hear from them if there's an issue. And shockingly, haven't heard from them. Why? Because it's not a thing. They're out in public off to the side. This was not, they were at the focal point. And really, the topic of this is that you should not be videoing or photographing people from a club. But I wasn't. It's all about being the focal point of the shot. So this is old social media rules from the organization shall not be named, of which we were all heavily trained in. And I used to have to make co have coachings with newer members and supporters and prospects. A supporter, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole here, but a supporter with the organization shall not be named means something different than a supporter of a club. A supporter of a club is somebody who owns a t-shirt and supports them. That's it. They're not, they're not a hang around. They're not a prospect. They, there's just somebody who likes them, and that doesn't mean anything. You, you're, you're nobody. I mean, they might like you better than somebody who doesn't own their T-shirt, but 
you're you're not part of them. You're not one of them. Don't make that mistake. Don't ever assume that you have more clout than you do. Now, the reason why I, this really like threw gasoline on the fire is because this last Friday, what we saw happen where this guy made a rather serious mistake is we were at an annual. Um, an annual is just a club's sort of annual celebration. It's their birthday, that kind of thing. And we were at an annual of a club that we love to de we love a lot, that we're near and dear with the members. And again, you would call us supporters of theirs, but I'm nobody to them. I'm just a dude. I'm not a prospect. I'm not hanging around. You know, that's they're just my friends, right? So I'm a nobody. I cannot speak on their behalf. But what we witnessed at their annual was this guy, because it was at a public place, it was at a bar. I don't think he was even part of the organization. I think he just wandered into this bar as it was going on. Because again, it was public. I don't think it was closed off. Maybe he was with somebody. I don't know. There was a guy and he was not wearing the uniform. So I don't think he was one of us. Walking around videoing with his phone. And he turns and holds his phone up and starts videoing over his head like selfie stickish to a table of one percenters behind him. <laughs> like intentionally videoing them like like look at these guys like look at the wow you know like right over his head at the table these guys and all you they handled it beautifully as you expect them to because they are the experts all you hear is whoa <laughs> like four or five guys like whoa 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 and they shut him down quick and um then proceeded to assist him in the process of deleting everything off his his phone that they deemed inappropriate for that night and they were right that you don't do that that was a big no-no and this guy broke some very serious rules i don't know if he wandered off the street or if he was somebody's friend if he was somebody's friend that friend probably got a talking to also about procedures and processes and stuff but they were kind enough to help him get rid of all said inappropriate material and then sent him on his way so no he didn't get his eyes dotted none of that stuff nobody was violent there was just they fixed the problem you know but there is the topic here. So you should not be photographing or videoing members of any club, especially a 1% club, certainly when they are the focal point of the video or photograph. So if you are literally just sitting there at, a, at, a, at an event, you're at Sturgis and a pack of 81 walk by and you just pull out your camera and just go, look, there's 81 walking down the street. That's, that's a big, that's bad. That's a real bad thing. Uh, and they may or may not let it go, probably not if they see it happen, but they may or may not let it go, but you should not be doing that. If you're videoing and they're just standing there, I mean, they might say, hey man, can you not do that, whatever, but it's not the end of the world if they just happen to be in the shot, all right? It's not, they weren't the focal point, you were videoing this. Now, if you were videoing this, this is my own personal rule. If I was doing this, watching this video thing, this video and this topic here, and I happened to notice that they were over there, but they were doing something, i.e. maybe they were having a little toke or something like that, and it was in a place that wasn't legal, or uh, then I am not going to share that. I'm not going to show people engaging in activities. But if they're just standing over there watching the same thing that I am, it's not a thing. You know, I would typically try my best to avoid that situation. I'd be cognizant they're there and try and change the angle. But the video that I did at Smoke Out, there was no, they were there wandering in amongst the crowd. There was nothing I can do about it. That's that's where they was. So anyway, so again, don't video members of a club or photograph them if they're the focal point of your video or photograph. Don't do that. And secondly, don't tell nobody else's business. That's not your, that's not your place. You don't speak on the behalf of a club. Don't do that. And if you do go, what I was going to say earlier is that guy went to them and said, you know what, I saw this guy was out of there. Again, they probably said, they might have said just thank you, don't do that again. They probably said, who the fuck are you, man? Like that, That's probably the response he got because that's the response I would have given if somebody came and said, I told them that they shouldn't have that sticker or that patch because that, uh, my response would have been, who the fuck are you, man? Like that, That's not your job. If you want to snitch and let us know and us deal with it, that's fine, but that ain't for you to do. All right, that's a little tip for today. Comment down below. I'm sure people will, and there'll be lots of negative things to say because it's, it's you too. But other than that, if you're not a subscriber, please become one. That's all we ask you to do. The thumbs up, the comments, and all that fabulous stuff helps the channel out. If you do want to support the channel, there's a membership thing. I'll put the link down there. You can check that out. Not pushing it. Just saying if you want to pay for bad investments and in motorcycles and stuff when I lose money to sell bikes. 
because I've been in this game a long time. You buy for three grand and you sell for two. Woo! I'm a master. Anyway, so love you all to death. Take care of each other. We'll talk real soon. Bye.